What's up guys, Shiny Flies back with another video on the ground. Had a lesson originally today, but it got rained out. We're gonna be doing a new and improved video of what's in my pilot bag. So first, let's start off with my uh, GoPro bag. Uh, I obviously use the GoPro to film my flights. We have basic stuff here. Uh, we obviously have our charger. We have the GoPro itself. I don't really use this, this is a tripod, but if I ever have to use it, I might. Uh, we have um, this, this is a mount for stuff. Like I put this on the, uh, like on the wall or the ceiling. This uh, adapter is um, for my headset. This plugs in to the headset itself. I could probably make another in-depth video of that. But yeah, this is so I film all the um, ATC coverage and um, so you can hear everything in the cockpit. So yeah, that's um, everything in my GoPro bag. All right, so first let's start off with my bag. My bag is a Cessna partnered with Texture Aviation. A uh, the bag goes for around one twenty to one ten. Uh, it's got a front pocket. It's got a back pocket. It's got an armband for your shoulder. Uh, let's um, go in the first pocket. So we have a E six B flight computer. It's not actually a computer, as you can tell. Um, it's for like. Calculating um, winds, weather, uh, not weather, like winds, um, distance to get there. Yeah, it's pretty much what it is. It's a whole separate video. It's a lot of stuff. Uh, we have a student ID. Always keep that for the flight school if they need to see it. Keep a couple pens. It's always good to have pens just in case you run out. And have a good pen. You don't want to have, like, trash pens. Uh, yeah, the inside. But let me show, like, off the inside. It's got a little pocket here. Maybe for, like, flashlight pen holders. Lots of like ID holders, and then it's got a zipper back here. Uh, yeah, I don't have anything in this little pocket here. Back here, I have a calculator, basic calculator. I have a back all the way in the bottom. I have my certificate, my medical certificate. All pilots need this. It's a first class, which means I'm clear to fly and healthy enough to fly. I could probably do another video on that. I also have nasal spray. It seems odd, but. Nasal spray is something like, you, it's just, let's just say like when you're flying, your nose is clogged, worst feeling ever. The pressure just gets into your nose. Uh, you don't want that feeling. So it's always good to have nasal spray. Something you wouldn't really think of. I always have, and it's perfect. I'm probably gonna eventually put flashlights there or something, but it's perfect to hold for it. And it's like a little elastic band. All right, now let's do the um, back pocket. All right, so now let's do the uh, back pocket. Uh, in the back pocket, we have a lot of stuff. Um, stuff with this. So yeah, let me just talk about an overview. We have this little thing for iPads and uh, like laptops, and we have a bunch of pockets running up here. So sort of, I don't really have anything back here besides probably one of the most important things, my logbook. Pretty much like keeps all of your important information. Never want to lose this. Uh, I have my kneeboard. Kneeboard, recent purchase. If you see on my Instagram. Straps to your knee, you write stuff down, and coming off my knee, actually, let me show you what's on the knee board. The knee board's got insane and a lot of information from the phonetic alphabet to ceiling altitudes and wind, crosswind corrections and um, communication. It has a pen holder and it clips on stuff as you saw. On my knee board, I had um, flight notes, date, tail number, which is your call sign, departure uh, airport, destination airport, other stuff to write down, like weather, Clearance stuff, taxi clearance, stuff like that. Really basic. Uh, checklist. Oh, you need a checklist to fly. Without a checklist, you can't fly. And you'll probably end up dying. <laughs> uh, okay, so I have my sectional map. This has all important information. Uh, I'll probably post like it. Actually, it'll be pretty cool posting a nice Instagram picture of my whole map. It's pretty big. And they also, a lot of people probably don't know, but they have expiration dates. Because... Every now and then they update them. So this one expires in November 7th. So I'm probably gonna get a new one when I head back to my airport. Uh, I have another pocket back here and I have my sunglasses, my Ray-Bans in here. So yeah, Ray-Bans, uh, whatever you want. My instructor actually is Oakley's, another good brand. Oakley's, Ray-Bans, pretty good. So these are my sunglasses, pretty basic. They're actually really nice, they're aviators. Pretty stereotypical of a pilot to wear. And we have my let me put that back in my pocket. We have my last thing, another really important thing: headset, basic headset ASA. I'll link um everything in the description as well. But yeah, 
uh, basic headset, ASA, as I said. You know, it's got your two uh, jacks for the plane, input output. Uh, this headset, in my opinion, is honestly pretty good. My instructor had this as well, too. It's a pretty good headset. The only thing is it's a little more on the heavy side. It's more of the heavy duty type. This is the type of headset you'll see in like the military. It's it, it could probably take a big beat in. It's got pretty good noise canceling. And yeah, it it gets the job done. Got it for about $110 plus the bag. I didn't get the bag with it. I ordered the bag uh, separately. There's just there's a bag that comes with it, but it, I don't like it. It's like a leather bag. It's more big. But yeah, I got this bag with it. I'll link the bag separately and I'll link the headset too. But yeah, gets the job done. Basic headset. And my plan, uh, um, my plan in the future also is once I get my license, I want to keep these for storage for people that want to fly with me and buy Bose A20s. Any pilot knows what Bose A20s are. They're the the Gucci brand of headsets. Let's just say that. So yeah. Um, I'll see you in the next clip. So, more essential items I have. I have three other ones. So my wallet. A wallet's good to have on you. Plus, I don't. I don't have a credit card yet, but um, this is like a gift card, credit card. But uh, I also keep an ID in here. Um, cash you want to hold, and you also want to hold a plastic form like a credit card. This is more for future pilots, and I know from hearing about it that um. Paying for gas, some don't take cash, some don't take credit card. So you want to carry both methods methods of cash and you want to have an ID on you. And also, you eventually I'm going to keep my, uh, I could um, put in, there's a lot of pockets. I have a pocket here, a pocket right here. I could hold my medical stuff in either here or other pockets. Uh, I could hold my license itself in these pockets, stuff like that. So it's always good to have a wallet and yeah, let's go to the next item. My next additional item is a watch. Pretty basic, tells the time. And also when you're flying, unless you're gonna be listening to music, which is another future item, uh, you're gonna wanna have a watch because you don't wanna be taking your phone, say in the middle of turbulence. You know what I mean? There's a, it's pretty basic why you wanna watch. This is a basic watch, I literally got it from Walmart. Cheap, but some watches like they, they could tell, obviously they tell time, they could tell what day it is. Smart watches help too. One thing is that they die. So that's one thing to know that they die. So yeah, next item. Next item is headphones, earphones, whatever. Uh, these are, I can't really tell from experience, but these are good for cross country flights as I hear. Cause when you're flying 200 miles in a small confined space by yourself or with your instructor, you're gonna wanna listen to music or at least maybe have one in so you could hear the uh, comms better because you're not going to be doing too much comms on VFR cross country flights. So yeah, um, headset uh, headphones are a good necessity to have for your cross country flights. Next item, a charger. A charger is going to be needed for iPads if you get them for your plane for um, having your charts and all the papers and documents in the iPad. That's good for that. Charging your phone. Some planes have USB ports already in them. So yeah, carry a charger. You're gonna eventually need one. You'll have times where there's no planes with USBs, therefore get a portable charger. I don't have one, but get a portable charger. So that's um charger. Last item, a hat. Pretty basic, you put the hat on. I don't look up a hat at all. Hat, say you forget your sunglasses. A hat will help a little bit by blocking the sun kind of. But yeah, a hat's good to have. You know, maybe I have to get my own merch hat one day. Let me hear that in the comments. I made my own merch hat once I think of my new logo. But yeah, a hat is good to have. So yeah, that concludes the video. Comment down, like the video, hit the put, uh, notification bell, and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video.